Hello, welcome to Dr. Boysen's Reality Check. This is Dr. David King Boysen, and today we'll be talking about product and service design. For a new product or a service to be designed by an organization, there are a series of stages that the firm or organization must go through in order to develop a successful product or service so that they will be able to launch it into the market and make their profits. There are basically three strategies that an organization may adapt to produce a new product or service. The first one is the market pool. The market pool holds the view that the primary basis for determining the product a firm should make will, deter, will, will depend on the markets, but with little regard for existing technology. So the focus of the organization is to look for the demand of the market, and that should inform the organization to produce its product or services. The second one is the technological push. And this view also holds that technology is the primary determinant of the product the firm should make, and it has little regard for the market. So technological push becomes the focus. It becomes the driver for whatever the organization does in terms of producing a product or service with little regard for the market. And the last one is the interfunctional view, where it is a combination of the market pool and the technological push. This type of strategy is called the hybrid type. And we say here that, that this view holds that the product should not only fit the market needs, but have the technological advantage. And this accomplished, to, to accomplish this, all functions that is engineering, marketing operations and should cooperate to design the new product needed by the firm. So for an organization to start with a new product or service, to develop or design a new product or service, these three strategies should be looked at. And it is not cast in stone. Uh, the organization should look at what best fits, I mean, its strategy so that it will be able to adapt, I mean, one of them to be able to achieve its objectives. Now, for a new product or service to be developed, there are seven stages the organization must go through. The first stage is what we have briefly discussed about, the new product or service uh, development strategy. And at that stage, we say that the organization tries to align the new product or service strategy to business strategy. So at this stage, what happens? We are saying that by defining a new product or service strategy, possibly in terms of the market, in terms of the product, in terms of the time horizon and all that, the organization will be better positioned to begin generating specific ideas. So here, the advice is that the organization must ensure that its visions align with the particular product or service it intends to produce. So if the organization vision is to be the best producer of mineral water, we expect that the product or service that they want to produce, or the product they want to produce, for instance, should be in the family of, uh, I mean, uh, water production, producing of water, quality water for uh, whether sachet water, whether bottled water, because the organization has said that it wants to be the leader. So that is the vision. That you cannot have a different vision and have a different product or service. If that happens, then we'll be having strategic misalignment, and that will not inure to the benefit of the organization. So we are saying that an organization, for example, may choose to focus its growth 
on a new product or service strategy, even more specifically in terms of a particular market or segment of the market, or in terms of specific profit generating goals. But the choice of strategy must align. That is very, very important. The choice of the organization strategy must align with its vision, uh, its product or service it want to produce. Thank you very much. I will see you in the next lecture.